Boomerang! Siam Amazing Parks for Coma Boomerang is nestled near the park's entrance with theming to make it stand out as, I'm quoting from the park map, the world's most popular roller coaster. But is this boomerang coaster really as good as it looks? A big question I have for all of the coma coasters with inversions. This version of Boomerang opened in 1996 in Brunei as, wait for it, Boomerang. After being closed in the 2005 to 2006 season, Boomerang was relocated along with many other rides from Jodong Park Playground to Siam Amazing Park in Bangkok, Thailand. For those interested, Jodong Park Playground has reopened slightly since, now sporting a junior coaster as the only roller coaster in Brunei. The theming for Boomerang is that of the Netherlands, since, wait for it, Vacoma is from the Netherlands. And I, for one, think the theming is great. Let's theme a roller coaster after itself! Since honestly, I can't think of a better theming for a coaster that has been cloned more times than any other coaster. I.e. Siam Amazing Park's logic behind Boomerang being the world's most popular roller coaster. Furthermore, the location near the front of the park and looking towards the beautiful log Thume ride makes one have a great feeling when entering the park. Just look at the great photos Siam Amazing Park has of this coaster on their website. I am not a fan of Boomerang coasters themselves, but they, like all of Vekoma's coasters, look absolutely beautiful. So, the actual coaster. While I was there, the coaster was running at half capacity due to COVID-19, which was a real shame as I had to ride in a different row than my wife, but she faced her fears and went on Boomerang for me, and for that and everything else, I love her greatly. This shuttle coaster starts out by taking riders backwards up the first chain lift. Though the angle isn't super steep, it always feels like I'm going to fall forwards out of the car with how the over the shoulder restraints are on these rides. After wading through the anticipation of the lift, the car drops down the incline. Maybe it was the lack of other large roller coasters around, but I actually felt something enjoyable on this drop. Nothing great but enough to say it was decent, all things considered. Then the car rushes through the station, which is always a neat visual. Next comes a rush of three inversions. The Cobra Roll knocks you around more than other Cobra Rolls that I have been on. Normally, I find Cobra Rolls to be rather neutral elements that do very little for me, but Boomerang seeks to beat you up. Fortunately, this version of Boomerang seemed to be less nauseating and intense for me, as the elements beat me up a little bit, but not enough to keep me from riding again. After the Cobra Roll, the car goes through a regular loop. Though I normally enjoy vertical loops, these aren't the best. But this one doesn't hurt enough to make it unenjoyable. Then, the train catches on the second chain lift. A sight that always gives me a little bit of chills as just a scary concept. Though it really isn't bad at all. After the quick second chain lift, the ride drops backwards through the three inversions again. The backwards loops hurts. A lot. So just be prepared to ride defensively during the backwards trip. The Cobra Roll isn't nearly as bad backwards as the loop, especially on this model, but do be careful with how you are riding. Finally, the coaster breaks and ends upon returning to the station. This boomerang breaks entirely in the station, which I found odd as the one I'm used to at Six Flags Fiesta Texas allows the train to go slightly up the original hill. So how good is boomerang? Well. This one is a lot better than the only other boomerang I've been on. But since that coaster is the second worst coaster that I've been on, that's not saying much. 
Siam Amazing Pogs Boomerang executes the boomerang elements well without too much intensity that would prevent a roller coaster fan from rewriting. Consecutive rides on Fiesta Texas's boomerang are unthinkable for me. But I rode this one three times in a row and five times overall, and at no point did I need an extended period of time to recover. For now, it stands as my favorite boomerang, the best of the world's most popular roller coaster, if you will. But it is still going to beat by any decent family coaster. What are your thoughts on boomerang? Have you ridden the boomerang at Siam Amazing Park? Let me know, and as always, Cup Coon Crop.